So guys, this is the second video to be a bit more uh, accurate about the mechanical cringe basically. Still have a second character here basically, above level 20 because you need to be level 20 to pick up the gift. You can see that already in the first video but the rest of the video was kind of a mess up so to show you guys a bit more clearly how it works. If you're playing a class with a pet I'd say rather not use it because uh, some things can happen that you wouldn't want to. So you already see him running down there. So what I'm going to do is just basically put two curses and then just stay back and let him do the thing. Because he's gonna go crazy there and you're gonna get free XP and uh, mostly free loot most importantly basically. These are level 22 mobs. Usually not that easy, of course thanks to that fig, it's super easy for us. So he will just murder them down basically. Be careful if something like this happens, you really have to pay attention on which one he attacks. Look, right now he's going for that one. Because he does uh, change targets at random intervals, let's put it like that. He kinda goes for the target that attacks him the last, so if you do too much damage to a different target then he actually attacks, then you might be in deep. So, he will just continue to aggro stuff that is close to him, so all you have to do is just follow him and attack stuff. He will always automatically uh, target stuff that is uh, either red or that you attack. So. In both ways, it's beneficial for you basically. Look at that. Look at that, how much uh, cool stuff we already got. And it's really as easy as this. This is basically all he does. From there on, he goes to the next. There he goes. You gotta just stand back and ranged. As a hunter, this one will be amazing. Look, he changed targets again. Keep that in mind. When he changes targets, you have to be careful because uh, if your target or you deal too much damage to the target that he is not targeting anymore, you might be in trouble. Always let him lead the way. If there's loot somewhere laying, don't be greedy, it's really not worth it. This guy is going to clean up the whole thing for 10 whole minutes, so just make the most out of it. You just follow him, and then whatever he targets, you target. Okay, this one is a bit messed up now. Okay, he's targeting that one. Stay close to him, so you good. Another one. Actually, he's getting low here. Can't believe it. It actually never happened before. Probably too many ads here. Probably need to help him out a little bit. I also saw him go low before. I mean, eventually he will stop and then recover his health, and he recovers quite fast, so as long as they don't kill him, we're actually completely fine. So from here on, he will most likely go in that direction, and then after that, there's a bit there. Maybe it will go up in front there. I don't know. Really don't know how it works. Okay. Don't be in combat for a while, brother. Okay. Change target again. Actually, he's getting low. Actually, he's getting low. But do not die. Okay, maybe don't put him somewhere there's a lot of mobs. I thought this would be good, but kinda murdering himself there. Might need to help him there. Okay, okay. I think he is out for suicide at this point. I mean, he just 
murderers there. Come back, brother. Come back, come back, come back. Okay, just keep on going, I guess. You're still sundered, but he doesn't care. My mana is low. I <laughs> think it's just going crazy, I swear. <laughs> That's somebody there in the back watching. Probably wondering like, the hell am I seeing? The hell am I watching? What is that? <laughs> this is just ridiculous. Look at that. He just murders everything. Okay, and the next. And this way you get basically infinite loot. <laughs> there he's done. Look him recover HP. Look at the rate he's recovering HP. Flipping crazy. And then you can just continue because he just farmed the whole thing up. For example if you're a fresh level 20 you can farm here. Later on you can also go up to the mountain. Because there's higher um, level mobs there, like 25 mobs, which are usually, even as a level close to 25, super hard. This guy just makes it so much easier. Trust me, he can do this all day. He can do this all day, so don't worry about that. Just let him do his business. You just follow him up, hit it from far away, hit it from somewhere safe. And just enjoy it, you know. 10 minutes he will go crazy for us. Usually you can keep track of that by the item that he's uh, or that you use to summon him. But of course, if you're uh, on your last summon like me, then it's gone because it has a 10 minute cool time and a 10 minute active time. So he will be around here for 10 minutes and just murdering everything up. Oh look, they just respawned, nice. Acro stuff. You can also stand close to his target, of course, because it's already focusing on him and you won't be able to deal as much damage as he does, to be honest. So, nobody will be able to steal his aggro. Okay, he certainly is aggroing quite a lot there. Okay, let's go, brother. Help him out here. That one is nearly done. So, which one you gonna go next here? This is just ridiculous. This is seriously just ridiculous. You cannot tell me that this is balanced. He just goes around murdering stuff and you don't even have to worry a single thing about it. So let him recover a bit. So tell his max HP. He has four sunders on him. <laughs> he simply does not take damage because he's just so high. It's just crazy. There's a four man. He'll most likely go at him. Yep. As I guessed. Oh, that's not good. Targeting me. Well, I think one one mob I can survive. You know, one one of them shouldn't be an issue. So minus combat, that's good. Let him recover a bit more. So, and from there on we just continue our way. Yeah, help him out. Sure. Probably wondering the hell is going on there. <laughs> yeah, go help the druid. Let's go help the druid. <laughs> I got that thing go. <laughs> Everybody's probably like, what the hell is going on there? <laughs> the hell is that thing? I never seen anybody like that. Okay, let's also get him. The other one will probably die from the curses anyway. Nearly die. Hey, come back! Go chase him down. Go chase him down. You cannot survive. <laughs> oh, this is crazy. This is crazy. You can abuse this so much. 
And there he goes. The next one. It's very handy to have a spell that you can instantly cast with this. Because then at least you get the tag quite quickly. Because he does help any everybody, so for him it makes no difference. Look, 24 mob. I would die on this. Oh no! No, the duration is done. Okay, I will probably die on this. Yeah, I will most likely die on that. Because he's resisting everything. Ah! Oh. But yeah, you have to be careful of the timer. But you guys just saw how much he did. He gave me like half a full XP bar in 10 minutes. Literally 10 minutes. Every drop that he drops is literally yours. I got a blue BOE. What can I ask for more? So, it's your guys turn. Enjoy it. <laughs>